Hey, hi all. Today we will discuss about a validity period of pricing condition records in SAP SD. Uh, there might be a requirement we need to uh, display uh, validity period of condition records in a customer report for any reasons. Then we might get uh, we might get a doubt where should we get the validity period of the condition record as we all aware that uh, the pricing tables start with a for example the key combination of condition table is 500 then the backend database table is a 500 which will store the condition records of that 500 key combination similar way if it is 600 then the database table will be A600 where you can see the pricing information valid period valid from the condition record number and all and key combination values as well a similar way the pricing information header information will be stored in the uh, header table that is KONH and item details will be stored in KONP table so therefore the validity from and validity to will be stored in a, a table as well as KONH table. Now let's understand how this uh, validity periods will be updated in both these database tables. The field for valid to is DATBI, valid from is DATAB. Suppose if we change valid to date of an existing condition record, then it will update only in the A table. It won't update in the KONH DAT BI table. And, and in this case, if you try to retrieve the data from KONH table means it might give you a wrong data. It's obsolete as of now because uh, the correct data holding in KONH only and value 2 will be updated in KONH as well whenever we will try to uh, extend the value 2 date more than that KONH value 2 in this case only it will be updated in both KONH and A table. If the valid 2 is uh, reduced compared to KONH valid 2, then this change we can't see in KONH. That means the A table only holds the actually valid 2 date. And the same applies to valid from as well. If valid from date is changed, then the field is not updated but if it is before the current entry then it is updated 